Hey guys! What's up? Everybody, we're all pumped here for BB Can 7. Uh, oh, I have, yeah. You know, uh, we're all excited to release that cast yesterday or the day before, I believe. And Karen and I have been talking about doing this for a long, long, long time. Well, since season five, we wanted to do kind of a cast breakdown or some kind of podcast together. Uh, you know, Karen is my friend. I love driving her crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> He, he not not the part about the friend he drives me crazy you guys he's so annoying he texts me he's the most impatient person like no wonder i didn't like him in the house we love each other so it's a great bond we have uh you know truth is i like bruce more but whatever yeah, we'll get into that yeah. later. everybody likes bruce more like don't don't be saying that to the people <laughs> So, guys, I'm really excited to, to do this today with, with Karen. We're going to do it together. We're going to break down the cast. We all we watched the bios. We watched Aika's ET Canada videos. Yeah. Uh, she did a great job. Awesome, so awesome interviews. Uh, it was good. It, it was nice because I watched the minute and a half bios at first. And, you, you know, you can tell productions kind of try to push their characters, this and that. But once they sat face-to-face, uh, -face, one -on one-on-one with Aika, you kind of got a better idea of who they really were. She kind of brought a good side of them out. I like that. I like that she got, uh, you know, she was a good player, and she got into their uh, into that mindset, into the Big Brother mindset. She talked to them as, like, a player, player uh, on player, and they opened up a little bit. So it was great. So uh, that being said, I'd love to break it all down with Karen, see her views, favorites, uh, who she thinks going to do well, who she doesn't think is going to do well. Uh, we're going to talk about it together. So I have some notes, Karen. Uh, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good, Bruno. Yeah. And I just, you know, because of my age, when you bring up these people, I'm going to have to look on my screen and be like, who? <laughs> who are we talking about? You got oh, it. that one. Okay. So we know from being players, like how hard it is. I'm going to try to not make too many judgments till I start to see them on the feeds because you know the real game lies there. Oh, 100%. And these people in these bios, like one thing I love about Ika's interviews is she does get these people to open up and be like, let their guard down and show us their personalities. When I read their bios, I was like, yeah, for sure. Right. And totally that's the thing. Different. And like, you know, as well as I know, yeah. when you're in that room, one on like with the producers and stuff, uh, you can say what you want to say. You can do what you want to do. Uh, they kind of, you know, guide you a little bit, but when you're sitting there with the interview with E.T. Canada with Ica, she did a good job kind of just letting them talk about the game and their stuff. She did a good job. So, uh, I'd like to get into it a little bit. Before we get into it, who is your, is there anybody that you're cheering for off the bat? Anybody you kind of liked off what you saw or are we kind of just out in the open right now? You know what? Like, like I said, there's a few of them that I really think that their personalities are interesting that I, I do like. I think that she's going to bring a lot of drama is that Laura, the one with like the really shaved, like, um, from Rocky. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 And, uh, the non-binary, I think it's Kira. Kira, yeah. I think will be an interesting character. Yeah, for sure. Um, the there's like the Mark. I don't think I'm gonna like Mark, the sure. religious guy. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, just by first impressions, I thought I don't know, but you know, then when they get out of the house, they're totally different, and then I for love sure. them. For sure. I. I you know, I talked to Ika about, like, I said, what's, is that guy's tooth missing? And she's like, yeah, I loved him. Yeah, he, you know what? It's funny you say that because he is probably the guy I'm going to be cheering for. Just from hey, what I saw off those interviews. Uh, he I just, really liked his personality, 100%. too. He just seems like a, like a you know, fun-loving guy, a happy guy. But yeah. uh, there's, there's a few things I see that can work for him. There's a few things I see that can work against him. He, he says he's the life of the party. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's get into him. Let's, why don't we talk about him to start okay. with? Let's, let's start it off. So I believe his name is name? Dane, I believe. Wow. Dane Rupert. Yeah, so, and he lives one hour from me. And there you go. See? He's going to come see your house before I do, Karen. What's up with that, man? I don't <laughs> so, know. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, let's talk, let's talk about him. So I do have some notes here. Uh, he did say John Party's his favorite player. He is a very energetic person, uh, life of the party and all that stuff. Now, here's the thing I want to talk about. Being the life of the party, uh, it's, it's good and it's bad for in the house because I'll look at someone like, let's use Dallas as an example. You know, we both played with Dallas. He's the life of the party, likes to have a good time. Out in the real world, he's a riot. He's a great guy to party with, just have a good time. You know, he's always fun. 
But those kind of personalities in the house, that I, I feel they tend to burn out quick because they go in the house feeling they got to be the life of the party. they got to keep that party going. And you know what it's like in there, Karen. It's not a party in there, man. It's, it's a lot of downtime. And a lot of people are just lazy and just want to lay around and do nothing. And, and so being the life of the party, it can almost work against you if you start annoying people or, you know, you have that, that feel like you have to entertain everybody. You can burn yourself out. So, uh, uh, but yeah, he's a, he's a hockey boy. Uh, he's, yeah. he's in shape and all that stuff. So I think he has a lot of tools. He says he's competitive. I think he has a lot of yeah. tools. And there's a couple other hockey players in there. Or there's a guy that wants an all-guy alliance in there. So I think he can fit somewhere really nice in that house if he can just find the right groups and all that stuff. Um, what are your thoughts on Dane? Let's hear, let's hear what you think on Dane. That's what I think. I think he'll be a comp beast. He's going to be very athletic. And he seems to have a rock and personality. Like, I disagree. I don't think that he's anything like Dallas. Yeah, but, I'm using as an example, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think his personality is going to be like the goofy, lovable. People are going to really, he's going to be magnetic. I'm really thinking, like, I really go by what Ika says because, you know, she got to meet these people yeah, and see sure. him, and there's only a small clip of what ET Canada is putting out. So I'm thinking, oh, no, he's the one to watch for me because I really do want to get behind and root for somebody, like one person to really root for this year. And I, he'll be a target, though, because he's going to be a comp beast, right? Yeah, well, that's a, that's interesting you say that because there's a few people in here that are that through the cast that yeah. said they want to win every competition. They don't oh, want to lose. So if you have, and you know what, that makes for a good season. If you have four or five people gunning for every single competition, and you know they're pretty athletic people, it makes for a good season. You know, you don't you don't see the same person winning every week like we had Dimitri on season five. You have Erica on season six, uh, and Kayla too, where you just you see them just bulldozing everybody every week. It's nice yeah. to see, you know, maybe there's four or five, maybe six people that can do that. So that'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Who's jockeying who? Who's gonna yeah. one up who? It'll be it'll be nice to see. So it's it's good to see that they want to compete. So yeah, I definitely like. Dane, he's someone I definitely I, I want to get behind yes. and cheer for. Uh, again, like we say, it's it's easier once we, they get into the house and you kind of see where they fit totally. and, and their real personalities come out because you know they've been in yeah. sequester for a bit now and and all that stuff. So yeah, I think Dane, I think Dane uh, is a good choice to get behind. I like him. Like I say, funny guy, the, the no tea thing, and he just embraces it. He loves it. It's part of his character. Uh, I like that. That that's pretty cool. Can I just say, I just noticed it's February 28th, and two years ago today is when they came and picked me up. Oh, nice. There you, see, I don't even know the date they picked me up. I, actually, they yeah. didn't even pick... So they yeah. picked you up for season five, right? They came to your house. On season yeah, five... Came, well, I was in our apartment in Victoria. They came to Victoria. Yeah, see, for season yeah. five, I literally took a taxi to the airport... I just got myself on a plane. Like, there was no, like... Well, because you, know, you guys were returnees. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So, it's, I don't even remember the date. I don't remember the date. I, I went no, out. but you guys... We were in there for probably, what, 10 days? And you guys only were in there five. No, I was in there. I was in there for a while. I was in there oh, for... You, yeah, yeah, I more was in than there five? For, okay, yeah. let's not get off on our season. Anyway, let's talk right. about seven. Anthony. So, let's talk about Anthony. Okay, is Anthony the um, guy who was, like, totally hitting on Ica? Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh man! God. I, I was, was like, "Oh my god!" He was like, "Smooth operator," man. and I'm like, "Okay, I will not like him. I don't think I'm gonna like him. Oh. I don't like that he's hitting on my girlfriend." Yeah. I'll tell you something, okay? Like, I'm sure he's the kind of guy I'd probably get along with outside of the house, but man, it, the way he was trying to just like, you know, finesse his oh, way, I was just like, "Totally!" Oh. I was like, "Okay, you're canceled." Yeah, he's. Gonna, I'm sure he's gonna be a nice guy I want to keep saying that like these are just judgments like look what I did to Dimitri it's like I didn't like Dimitri either it's like now that kid not Mark going home <laughs> I mean you don't know you guys so we don't have any idea at this stage but based on that interview with Ika I'm like canceled that guy's canceled yeah, yeah it's <laughs> you know what instead of focusing on himself he was just trying to finesse Ika the whole time oh, totally. it's kind of weird so it's like, is his mind really in the right spot, or is he just gonna find some no. cute girl in there and just try to, you know, build his own thing? So and what? What did he say? Do, is it, do we think he's a recruit? Because I want to talk about who we think are the recruits and who really watch the games. You know what? That's and, a good question. So okay, so did actually, you make I'll look notes? at my. I did. Okay. So um, okay. I don't think he didn't say anything about the show. So basically, what I said no. was. My notes are basically like he was trying to be too smooth and trying to finesse like that's literally one of my notes. So um, do you think he's a recruit? He could be. I mean, he's a big boy. He's something like 6'8", 280 yeah, pounds or something. Yeah, he would be somebody they'd pick out and yeah. say, like, 
stereotypical you're in. Yeah, and he's a big, big boy. Like, I watched his uh, uh, Big Brother Canada bio, and they did a really good job. He's, like, you know, doing the rope thing and all that stuff. And he's huge. Yeah. He keeps showing his arms. Like, he's a big, big boy. But, like, oh, is, he? Is, he a, is he a one-trick pony? Is that all his thing? Like, he's got big arms. You know, he's just showing his arms. Like, is that all he has? Like, is there anything beneath that? Or anything? You know? Like BB-19, is he going to be totally different than like Mark? You think he's a beast, but then he's like this soft, soft guy. So exactly. It could be. We don't know. Exactly. And you don't okay, know. So, so I think that honestly, he'll be around. I think he'll make it maybe to jury, but I don't know that I'm going to really root for him at this point. Yeah, see, you know what, again, and, and I find it every season's like that. The people that usually go in the house, I'm like, yeah, you know what, I look at it as a game perspective. I try, I, I don't to make it personal because a lot of the people I don't, a lot of people I don't cheer for in the house become yeah. really good friends of mine on the outside. Then, That's the way it is. So it's like on a game level, I always look at it as a game level, not a personal level. So in the game, I don't see him doing well. I, I can honestly see him even being out first second third i could see him a very early boot mm -hmm. just one because he's such a big boy he's just such a big boy yeah. that he's he's, yeah. he's he's a figure you can notice him he's not someone that can just kind of hide right. in the corner you'll always notice him he's really big uh unless he can find himself you know there's again we're going to talk about the the guy that wants the four-man alliance is that one of the guys he wants in his alliance yeah. and that is a key factor i think in this whole thing um but i mean he's just he's a he's a big person he's an intimidating figure uh and you'll always notice him around so um are the guys gonna want to get rid of him just as a threat kind of thing uh is he gonna try to Maybe finesse all the girls and, and he'll and, be like you said with that four person guy alliance yeah. what with that adam that's his that's his, his thing plan. yeah so yeah. Yeah. who knows I, you know it's, it's gonna be interesting to see who connects with who and that's that's half the fun is we don't yeah. know who's gonna go in and connect i mean that's that's half the battle so i yeah i just um i don't know I, he just seemed very tense in the interview or not even tense just kind of he wasn't even focusing about the game he was focusing about Ica. that was kind of weird to me you know, i mean this is his moment like take it uh but not a whole lot I, you know not a whole lot i don't i don't see me cheering for the guy i'm sure out of the house we're gonna be buddies but to go in the house, nah, man. He didn't show me anything yet anyway. Maybe when the show starts, who knows? Exactly. Um, anything else about Anthony you want to talk about? Nope. Okay. So yes. tried to finesse Aika. That's it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Kira, I believe it's pronounced. Kira. The Which one? Because I found there's a couple of their names that Kira? are the same. Is it Kira or Kira? I don't know. I think it's K Kira. K-Y-R-A Schenker, the non-binary. Okay. Let's go there. I did. That, that's not the one. That's... Maybe that's okay. Kira. Yes, that's Kira. Okay. Okay. Okay, Kira. Okay, so Karen, um, Kira, let's go for it. Okay, well, um, just from watching the interview, like, I, you know, Ika's interview went to the part of explain to us idiots what this means. And yeah. I felt that was very educational, and I, I'm glad. Absolutely, because, you know, I, you know, we are a little bit older. I mean, yeah, I'm, sure. I'm a little bit older than you, so that's fine. But, uh, you know, we are a little bit older and in our generations, there wasn't a lot of that. And, and, and no. it's the truth. And, and I'm glad Ika said that because I'd like to get educated yeah. on it too, because I really don't know. These are, these are new terms and stuff that I have no idea about. And I'm glad that, that she went that route. And I'm glad that, that it was explained. I really appreciate that because I don't I do know. Either. I did too, because, you know, me being just not understanding as much sometimes I ask my kids like what does this mean and they'll explain it to me it's like okay like the proper pronouns are like they and them not a he or she mm -hmm. I do know that from yeah. another one of my friends from Victoria and it's really personal stuff that you know it opens up these larger conversations so I love it but as a game player I think they are a gamer I think yeah. they're there to take home the check. And that's the thing. And I hope that's the, I hope that's the case. I hope, oh, it uh, seemed like I hope they don't go in just trying to, uh, you know, educate. I mean, it's nice to educate everyone. And that, that is great. But I hope that they're there to play the game more. Well, it seemed like it. Yes. And that's the thing. Because if they go in to kind of just educate everyone, that's great and all. But you're there to do a job. And that's the thing is you're there to do the job. You're there to play the game. All the other stuff in the back or all the other, everything you're there for has to be put aside. The game first and then your agendas or whatever you want to do, that should come second. Um, okay. Well, I think that there are there for the right reasons but i don't think that everybody and you know how casting is they're not some of them recruited or or they're not for the right reasons to play the game and the love of the game i get really insulted still 
when people are like, oh, I've never watched the game. Or like season six, some of the players that had never watched. That, I get, like, what are you doing there? 100%. And, and, and I don't understand you wanting to go on Survivor or Big Brother or any of these challenge if you never watched it. So you're looking for Instagram followers, which, exactly. you know, that bugs me. And, and but, I agree. That bothers me. Uh, absolutely. Okay. And here's another thing I want to say. I don't want to cut you off, but we're talking okay. about being there for the wrong reasons. And I love the question uh, that I asked everybody. And it's, um, would you rather be a legend and lose or win and be forgotten? Yeah. And you know what? It's funny we're talking about this because uh, Kira says she would rather, sorry, they would rather be a legend and, lo and lose. See, to me, that's the wrong answer. That is the wrong answer. If you're there to be a legend and lose, why are you there? Play the game. Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, that's a tough question because they always ask that. And like when they asked me, I said both. I want to be both. Yeah. And I think the, the old yeah. mom said that as well because you know as well as I do, it's not easy to get in there and to know where your place is going to be and the pecking order or whose side and Absolutely. alliances change. And so, you know, they're giving us the best answers they can at this stage. 100%. And I think. And I think that, you know what, we should look at that and think they're being authentic right now with, they're not trying to be filtering themselves when, because I can put their guard down. So I think, you know what, that's how they really feel about it. And and, and there's nothing wrong with that, Karen. So My that problem, means they're the, there to play. The problem with me, that it means they're not, see, I see it as they're not there to play. See, if they'd rather be a legend, if they would rather be a legend and lose the game, What's the point of playing? If you're there to play the game, you don't care what the audience thinks. You're there to win the game. Like me, I never cared about what the outside thought. I wanted to win the game. I, I don't care about the other stuff. And that, to me, is a player, is someone that wants to win. Why are you going if you want to come out in third, okay. fourth okay, place? I see what you're saying. If you're, all of your motives and moves are based on what outside thinks. Exactly. And who cares? Why are you there? those players every year. You know 100%, 100%. it. 100%. A hundred percent. I'm just saying, for me... If different player on the feeds and then they go in the dr and they give us some crap and we're like who the hell are you it's i'm just saying for me if you're there to play you don't care about the outside influences what they think about you you're there to win you're doing your job go to your job but I, I i disagree with that as an old mom i disagree yeah and your generation or the younger generation is more concerned with what they are perceived like and being you know all of it opened up like it never was for us. I think, well, no, I'm in that. I'm kind of. I'm not, not so much more of the younger people online than ever before 100%. in generations. So, See, but I miss so that I, generation too. Eh? I disagree. What generation are you? I think I'm. Uh, why? Maybe. What is it? We definitely I'm don't care. I'm before the. Generation. We never knew this wor new world, so we didn't care. But I do think that. You know, even people say take the smallest little things and pick it apart. And I think that these the younger people have to be concerned with that image than we never did. It, it, it makes them not get jobs yeah. this day and age. Karen, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But what I'm saying, like even my generation, we didn't have Twitter. And, and so like, we had Facebook when I was even an adult. Like that's where it started for us was like, or MySpace, man. I don't know if you remember MySpace, man. Like that was our, like... Twitter. I have only I had Twitter after season three. I don't even man. You know what I'm saying? Like it's new to us too. Like I'm I'm just a generation after you. I've been on Twitter for ten years now because of a business. Okay. okay so, so that's how Kira. do you think they are going to do? Okay. So here's my thing. You're like what? Okay. My thing is it all depends how Kira adjusts into the game. Uh, we saw like it 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 really really depends on where Kira fits in. Um, into the clicks and all that stuff. That's just that's just the name of the game. It's, it could be anybody. It has nothing to do with with being non-binary or gay, lesbian, whatever it is. There's nothing to do with that. It's where the, where they fit into the game. That's everybody. Um, I see a lot of big personalities. I don't know if Kira's personality is big enough to kind of you know keep up. Uh, who knows? Maybe it's even bigger. We don't know yet. We just saw that little little video yeah. uh but it'll be very 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 interesting and i'm definitely rooting for kira in a way i want to see how it plays out i like it i like the uh, I, I like it i do and i you know for I me care. i've always been the kind of person and and i'll always be this mindset i don't care what you like what you are what you do if you're I happy care. who cares like as long yeah. as you're happy do you be happy who cares life's too short and i've always had that mindset it doesn't bother me doesn't affect
affect me. I don't care about that stuff. You're happy. Good for you. We're all happy. Good for us. So um, one of my favorite things is for people to live their truth. Hundred percent. And to not be able to live their truth is bothers me as a person, as a mom, and I just think those barriers and should not exist anymore in society. And I love the fact that people my generation will get an education and understand a little bit more about you know, the non-gender specifics and what it means. Because I didn't even know what cisgender meant like um, two months ago. I and, didn't even know what that meant. And I, you know what? I'm in the same boat, Karen, because yeah. you know, we're, we are in a different generation. And that's, yeah. you know, that's... But I want to be educated. And 100%. Yeah. It, and I want to be respectful. And, you know, I want to understand. And I don't want to be this dumb person that doesn't get it and just say stupid things. Like, so I, I'm glad. I'm glad that they are there. 100%. Okay. Awesome. So your thoughts on your thoughts on Kira? Uh, I think uh, jury. Jury? I, I could see jury. I could see jury. I could yeah. see jury. Okay. Now, I don't know who this is. It might be Kiera. I don't know if I wrote it down wrong or okay, what. Okay. I got I to gotta look at it. But it's the one I, that uh, oh. casts as her favorite player. Yes. Done right there. Done. <laughs> you are uh, no i'm not i'm just listen man i'm just listen ass is awesome you are such a jerk um <laughs> you i don't know what it is with you and uh, hey, no i have no purse princess i love uh you know what i love i mean i love that people have past players that they love and good for her um i like this person i thought they were very likable um, again, I don't know what her personality is going to be like on the show. Is she going to be what she says? I mean, I think this one, I couldn't get a real good read on where she's going to fall in, but I think she'll be, you know, probably final four or five. See, here's the thing. I can see her being a big factor in the season. I can also see her getting herself into a lot of trouble. Uh, she's really well-spoken. The way she talked with Ica. Yes. It, it was a good. It was a good chemistry. It was good back and forth. I thought she had good answers. She said the right right answers. You know, she has the right mindset and right answers. Uh, but then she's you know she was she seems pretty aggressive. And you know what it's like in there, Karen. You I know, like an aggressive woman, Bruno. There's nothing wrong with that. In Big Brother, there's times you got to bite your tongue. There's times you got to look away. There's you know you got to play the game. And that's the part where you know people do shoot themselves in the foot where they're just like, you know what? I can't take it anymore. Screw you to whoever. And they start a fight. Well, that fight gets them out the next week. You got, yeah. it's, it's a game of patience. It's not a sprint. You know, it's not a sprint to the end. It's a marathon. You got to go step by step. When we're listening to these bios, a lot of people are like their whole MO is to lay low half the game and then come out and play in the challenges and do what they need to do to pull it out at the end. Well, that's going to make for a boring season. Listen, if everybody's 100%. playing like that, I hate that. That is BB-19. Like, Listen. that sucks. If one person is controlling the whole house and everybody else is trying to lay low and just get to jury, it's like, oh, please, kill me. She just don't, I don't even want to watch it right now. No, you're, that's you're not wrong, Karen. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. What I'm saying, like, she's saying things like uh, everything about her rubs the people the wrong way. That's what she, she's saying that. I, so. if, but if it's that kind of person... That's willing to get in there and get deep and get in people's faces and cause controversy where there's a split on the side of the house that makes for such good TV. Yes, I'm not talking about TV. I'm talking as a player to get to the end. I, good TV, man. I could I could tell you ten people that are great TV, absolute garbage players. That's there's a okay. total difference. There's an entertainer. There's a player. There, uh, there's very big differences. Um, entertain to me, I don't care about the entertainer. Never have. Never will. I don't oh, care about that stuff. I don't, me as a fan, I love to yeah. be entertained. And, and I get that. Those feeds. I absolutely get that. And there's a ton of fans out there that are just like that, where they love the drama, the fights. The, I need the popcorn. The popcorn. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And there's a big following for that. But there's also oh, a following. Speeding. I love. I love the game. I love to see how people maneuver themselves week by week. You know, kind of keeping themselves safe, keeping themselves off the block, doing what they got to do, maneuver their 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 way through, change their strategy. I like that stuff. But again, that's the beauty of this game is there's so many different reasons to watch you know what i mean there's so many different reasons to uh, to watch so many different ways to play and there's so no right or wrong answer say? what do your notes say on her okay so my notes on her 
uh, she wants to make moves and doesn't want to watch things happen around her. She said she could do that in the comfort of her home. I love that. I really, really yeah. love that. I Me love that too. she said that. It means she's there to play. The other part of it is, is she going to go in and play too fast? She doesn't want to watch things happen. So are you thinking she, like she's going to be Erica? Like she's going to put a big target on her back or like uh, uh, Shannon Elizabeth? You think she's going to come in too hard too fast and be an immediate target? Well, well that's the thing. If you're, if oh, you're stirring the pot. Not. Hamza was the too hard, too fast. Shannon and Hamza are the ones that stick out to me too hard, too fast. Erica was just a compie. Like, 100%. that girl is a base. So that's that's the thing, okay? If you come in and you want to stir the pot, you see, you know, you heard Hamza talk about all the time, I'm here to stir the pot. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you go home. That's that's yeah, how the game it works. Work. It we doesn't know it work. doesn't work. So that's what I'm saying. If she wants to go in and stir the pot and be that entertainer, well, guess what? You could be sitting at home on the couch and you're going to be watching it just like everybody else. That's just the it's nature weird. of the beast. Where is she going to end up? Uh, it's tough, man. It's tough to say. Again, we haven't seen them play. But if she goes in, like she says, where she doesn't want to watch things happen and make it happen, I could see her pre-jury 100%. If that's what she does, if she does what she says. and it, I, I'm thinking she's going to be fourth or fifth, get get down there pretty low. Like get out fourth or fifth? Or be no, fourth no, or fifth? No, make it far deep in the game. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, hey, who knows? Who knows? Honestly, who knows? Um, so that's pretty much... Uh, but also to say, uh, she overthinks things a lot. Uh, she's deadly single. She's bisexual. Um, uh, and I just kind of liked her answers. Basically, she says she doesn't care about all girls or all guys, guys alliance, yeah. whoever she vibes with. And that's great. That's the right way to do it. But people that go in exactly. and they, they're like, I'm going to grab this person, this person, exactly. and this person. It doesn't work. It's like way. personalities. You have to go with what kind of personalities and where you can fit in. hundred percent. So, yeah. uh, she These has determine those genders alliances i don't like those douchey 100%. people and that's the thing i like i like that see there's parts i like about about her as a, as a character i'm always talking about no. the game and there's parts that i'm like nah, i don't think she's gonna do that well i didn't feel like that about her i'm talking about that guy that said it i'm like ugh, if you're oh, already yeah. saying that about the four ugh, i'm like go brogade go now <laughs> okay can right. so we go to him uh sure who is that's uh that's adam Adam. Adam Pike. Okay, Adam Pike. Let's talk about Adam Pike. Go for Isn't it. Isn't he an oil field worker? He's the oil field worker. So he's my Dimitri, oh, but he's there you not. Go. But he's not. But but, and I brought this up to Ika. Dimitri said the same thing. He was gonna bro, and Cody said the same thing. They were gonna bro. No victim noise. That did. Who, those two were the first ones in showmances. So it's like, okay, I don't believe anything you say, brogade, because you'll be the first guy in the showman. So I, I'm going to tell you about this guy. So, okay, okay. the whole the, the four guy alliance thing, okay, uh, yeah. yeah, whatever. It's probably It might work, it might not work, who knows. If it does work, I can see there's three other guys in there that if, if they those four get together, they're very athletic, they want to win everything. Huh. I mean, they can literally do a lot I of damage. I will not like that show. I so, will not like that show. Hey, it's it's his plan to go in. If it works, it can work. It, I think I this cast that. has four guys that it could make it work. Now, here's the thing. Um, season three, there was Zach Olenek. This guy gives me Zach Olenek vibes. I think the girls are going to love uh -huh. him. I think the guys are going to love him. I think this guy's going to be a powerhouse, and, and he is one to watch. I think this guy is going to be one to watch. Uh, he's, like, shredded. He's, like, super in shape. Um, he's a guy's guy and you know, he's a stud. The girls are going to like him. And that's, and that's and honestly, I know it sounds shallow, but that's half the battle. If, if the girls yeah. have a crush on you, you know, they're kind of, you know, that's the way it is. And same with a guy. Oh, if a guy has a crush on a girl, they're kind of like, Hey, let's keep her safe. And that's just, it's the way it is. And the guys, if they're scared of you, they're not going to want to take a shot at you. And if they grow up with you and they're buddies with you, they're not going to take a shot at you. So usually the players like that, even though they're a big threat are very safe because no one wants to take the shot and everyone wants to be your sure. friend. So I see Zach Olenek, uh traits in this guy, uh, and his biggest fear is being out week for uh, out week one. That's everyone's yeah. fear. Yeah, well, of course. And who said that? Thank you. Got a guy out first. <laughs> Can't read it. All right, it's not about you, Karen. It's not about you. Okay, sorry, sorry. I had to, Bruno. I know. It was your moment. It's your moment. It's it your was, moment. It was. Thank you. Give it's me your, something. Go. It's your moment. Go. 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 You got it. No, no, no. So I, I totally agree with everything you said about this guy. Totally agree. Mm -hmm. But I believe that Victim Noises is saying one thing, and he'll be the first guy in a showman, and he's going to go way deep in the game. I think so, too. I think I think yeah. he has the right tools. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, here's the thing, too. 
You know how everybody, this is guys and girls. Say a guy is interested in a girl, and there's another guy in that house, and he's interested in that same girl. That puts a divide between the two guys. And if it's two big bucks in there, and they both want that same girl, or there's two yeah. girls that want the one guy, whatever way you want to look at it, yeah. it causes friction. So if he can just kind of do his thing, stay focused, I think he'll be okay. I think I think he has a, the tools to do well. He says yeah. he's tried out five times. Yes. Um, so that means he would have tried out in our season. He did try out for our season. He's also a big fan of the brigade. Brigade that goes back to the four guy alliance. Okay, if for four guys, which four guys do you think, or three other guys do you think would be in his alliance if he had to pick? Well, alliance? definitely Anthony. Yeah, and the big boy. Yeah, the six eight or whatever he is. And yeah. he's going to try to get Dane in. I can see that. Yep. And that guy that I don't like, Mark. Which one? Mark, Mark, the Kevin. He's the Kevin. Oh, he's, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's the religious guy who's lived in the U.S. And yeah, I, I didn't, I don't know. He would be my Kevin Martin. I would be torturing the shit out of that guy it's, if it's, I was in that house. It's funny you say that because to me, that is the Kevin Martin of season three character. I think that's totally what he's trying to be. And and I'm glad you said you know Kevin. He's your Kevin because that's the vibe I got. He was trying to be either Zach Rance. From BB sixteen, oh, okay, and he has that the face. I don't know. There's something about him. He reminded me of Zach Rance, okay, yeah. whatever his name was. Yeah, uh, he. I got that vibe off of him. That guy you're talking about, Mark. Actually, you know what? Let's. Do you want to get into Mark? So those. So those are the four that I think that this guy's going to. But I, like I said, I think it's going to blow up immediately. Like he has those plans, and he's the first guy in the showman's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It could be. It could be. So uh, you know, it's fun. you know what I do want to talk about that Mark guy. So uh, well, here okay. with with this Pike guy, Adam Pike. He, okay, so we're done with him. We think he's going deep in the game. I think he's going very deep. I think he I has think, yeah. he has the tools. I think he has the tools to win. I, that's what I, I want to say. At least get can. far. Okay, uh, let's talk about that Mark guy. Okay, uh, can you start. Tell me, because I already told you a little bit about what I thought. Yeah, I just got to find my notes. All I know is he reminded me of... I don't know if I have notes. Yeah, here we go. Okay, he's been watching since he was 12, it says. He comes from a very religious background. Oh, uh, did that not, when he said that, resonate with you about Kevin with the family? Oh, yeah, 100%. Like, that's what I'm... It, it's the religious background and everything. Oh, yeah. For sure. Uh, he reminds me of Zach Rance. He wants to go and uh, find the... The dream team of four people. Oh, yeah. So this guy wants to find a four-person alliance, a dream team alliance. Uh, that's stage one. Um, and then he wants to kind of turn his back on them or okay, something. No, I thought it was Adam that wanted the – this guy wants the four-person alliance too? This, Yeah, he wants a, he wants an alliance, The not a four-man alliance though. He wants a, an alliance at the beginning, the rider dies. Oh, um, oh he's the one that Ica told me he had all these plans set out. Exactly, 100%. Stage one, stage two, stage yeah. three. So I'm like – Let's see how that works for you, buddy. And, and anybody that's played the game will tell. We said you can't go in like, okay, hey, week one I'm doing this, week two I'm doing this, uh, week eight I'm doing this, week ten I'm sitting in the final two. It doesn't work that way. So this guy, you can have a loose plan for sure, for sure, but you can't have this planned out. But I mean, the turns and things that are thrown at you in this game, you're never going to know. Like, I mean, yes, go in with some kind of plan. And say, like, I'm going to try to win the first HOH because I'll have no value as an old person and get thrown out. And I wanted to get a guy out. Mm -hmm. Have some kind of plan. But understand, week two, your plan's out the door. It's done. It's done. <laughs> so, okay, done. Karen, I want to talk to you about this. He says yeah. winning the first HOH is the dumbest yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay, for, for an old person like me, that was the smartest thing to do because none of you would have ever talked to me because the old person always goes home. So... I mean, I can see that him saying that, but it's like a lot of you younger people like you, you wouldn't want to win for HOH. Cindy didn't want to, if I won it, of course I wanted it. Yeah, no, 100%. So, I mean, people are going to have, but that, the, the older lady, that's me. I think you, honey, you should win first HOH. Rosina should have won first HOH. She wouldn't have been gone. See, like, and that's the thing. I agree. I think it's very situational for what you totally. are. And then, and then I remember them saying, like, the dumbest thing you could do is just not put up the first two people that fell. Well, to me, I'm not playing the same Big Brother game that oh, everybody so. else has been playing. Be original, people. Like, if you're going in the house, like, him saying that made me not, not like him. 
I'm sorry, but it did. It was like, okay, so you're dogging on other people because it doesn't fit into your plan. Like you're a small minded son. But and he, I would be torturing the crap out of him like I did Kevin. I, he would so, be my guy. I would be nitpicking, nitpicking, nitpicking him. So that one cut a little deep for you, eh? That cut a little deep. Well, well you know what I mean? It's just you know how the, these line up, and it's like I. this is what I love about it. This yeah. is why I love Big Brother so much. But I'm hoping that this guy gets tossed out early. <laughs> You're not a fan, eh? Not a fan. All but right. I mean, he be fine on the outside but at this point from this stuff i'm like not a fan not okay, a fan i want to talk about this i found this very interesting he says okay. uh stage two is to start eliminating the comp beast like oh, yeah. ika wong what are your yeah. thoughts on that well you know how i feel about him no no, like no no he said comp beasts like ika oh, wong oh he's just talking about big threats like big personality okay, okay. i don't think he meant a physical threat like of course, there's going to be people that you know, like, you know, Kevin was the full package. If he's got, uh, can do comps and he's got a brain, they need to go. Mark was going to get into a showman's physical beast, Dimitri, physical beast, you, even though you tried to act like you weren't, physical beast. <laughs> like, people are not dumb. Like, not, everybody not. thinks you're dumb, but it's like, this kid, he needs to go. I'm sorry. I don't know if he has a brain, though, but it, I know physically he needs to go. So, okay. So, this guy says uh, stage one was that. Stage two was take out yeah. the comp piece. Yeah. Stage three, uh, turn on his ride or dies when every yeah. HOH, every POV, he and take home the 100K, yeah. and that's it. I know, and it's like, come on, goodbye. Yeah, so maybe he's playing up to the camera. I can listen. I can see this I guy. Think so honestly, mm -hmm. he knows that you have to play the house guest, the fans, and the DR production. Like this kid is somebody's. I don't know. He he is he know past house guest or has he been with past house guest? Do you know? I have no idea. Because you know, know, Chelsea knows Kevin. They went yeah. to radio school together. Yeah. Well, we'll get into her. We'll get so this guy here. Let's you know what I'm. Uh, okay. So I'm hoping. Not, I'm hoping that he goes home. Like he might be a nice kid on the outside, but I'm hoping game wise, him and his three stage plan goes home fast. You want him out? For week, who do you want out week one? This guy? Is this I would love him to go. <laughs> okay. Oh so week Sorry. one. Sorry, kid, that I don't know that I would. If I, Karen was the HOH, you're going on the block, and you and this Adam Pike are on the block, and your ass is going out the door unless Kevin and Bruno try to flip the flip and vote. <laughs> so Karen wants Mark out week one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Okay, let's get to Mackie. I, I want your thoughts on Mackie. No, no, no. I want to hear the Bible boy. How far is Bible boy going in the house? Okay. How far do you think he's going? You're not going to like this, Karen. Oh. You're not going to like this. I think... Uh, you think he's going to win? No, I don't think he's going to uh. win. I think he's going to get deep. I think jury for sure. Um, I just think he's a guy... Like He's he's a he's a good talker, man. Like As much as you don't like what he was saying in the thing, he was a good oh, talker. No. Uh, his, his plan, stage one, stage two, stage three, makes no sense to me. But... Uh, he's there to entertain. He's definitely okay. going to be in the DR a lot. And I think he's going to get along with people. I think yeah. he's going to go far. I don't think he's going to win. I think he's going to go far. Uh, is he going to be the same player in the game that he is in the DR? Because I can't stand when they're a different player in the game than they are in the DR. Or if they're constantly talking to the feeds and telling them that annoys the crap out of me if then they go in and they're something else. You nailed it, Kevin. Or Karen. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mackie. You throw it shade at your boy? No, fuck no. Kevin's my boy, man. Kevin's my okay, boy. I was going to say, wow, man, uh, you are shady. Never, never, never. No, Kevin's my boy, man. Hey, I, I still haven't pinky sword you once, man. You wanted me to get him out. I, me and Kevin are tight. I'll never get him out. I'll never get him out. Okay. Me Kevin. It's me and Kevin. It's not you. You're not on the out. It's me and Kevin. Mackie. Swear. Talk to me about Mackie. Mackie reminds me of a bad jester, Sasha Cohen, Baron. <laughs> nice. Sasha Cohen Baron with wild hair. And then he was pretty good, though, on the poet thing with Ica. Um, I just think this guy, Group Mance, his. Yeah. Oh, God. You got to go. 
Yeah, so, okay, uh, yeah, for sure. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what this, I, I literally. I like you on the outside, but you're just no man's group my, man's. My notes for this guy are basically, it's like Mackie, group man's, next. Like, it's like, what? <laughs> so, here, here's the thing, man. Where's he going to fit in? Who is he? I'm like, who are you? Is What, what character are you? I yeah. don't even know. He is in the game. I, you know, that's the thing. It's a, I don't know. It's a weird, a weird thing. It's uh, he wants everyone to get along. He wants all the alliances to get along. Hey, I don't know. Big brother, him saying he's going to bring the alliances together. I'm like, you're getting booted out yeah. of there. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I just don't. Alliances together, like it'd be different if you said I'm going to play two different alliances and move around and be a flip flop floaterville like Jackie. I can appreciate if your game is to be a flip flop floaterville, but to bring them together, it's like no, you want to keep them separated. Sasha Cohen Baron. So here's the thing, okay? Um, where yeah, where does he fit in? What do you, what do you think happens with this guy? He's a Jackie. He's a flip flop floaterville. See, I think, see, here's the thing. I, I I think on the outside, we'd probably get along okay. In the house, I just don't no, see. He's going to be a nice guy. Like, please don't take any of this yeah. personally, you guys. We're just players that are now trying to, like, I mean, I can't stand when people think, like, oh, well, that's how they are with these people. I mean, people you don't like in the house when you get out or people online you didn't like, then you like. I don't know these people from Adam, but I just think oh, him saying that he that in the interview. Yeah, hundred like, percent. No, it's not. We're not. It's not a trash. It's not trash. It's just that's the way it is. He, this is his game. We're gonna critique, and he wants to go in and bring alliances <laughs> together. Garbage. Absolute garbage. Come on. Come on. That that is no plan at all in Big Brother. Garbage. Okay. Next, we're done with Mackie. Okay, we're done. We're Sasha done. Cullen, the Jester. His hair reminded me of Jester, which uh, I love. People. But I was like, no poet. We, there is no poet in this game. What's the guy's name from The Simpsons? Sideshow Bob. <laughs> oh, Sideshow. I don't know. Okay. I, you know, Simpsons started when I was in my 20s, and I haven't watched it in a lot of years. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Kaylin Archer, the psychic, Karen. Okay. Go. Let's hear it. Let's hear well, your thoughts. The, oh, she's the old mom. She's me. You know, you got to have some value. If you don't make connections in that house and you go in and you try to cook and clean, your ass is out the door. Like, you got to fit in with some people or show some kind of value or, you know, get in there. or They'll just, you know, be looking for somebody to put up and get rid of as the pawn and you'll be it. I mean, she will not last if she goes in there with, a, you know, me and Kevin and Jerry are the only ones to make it to second, third, and fourth. For whatever reason, she'll be gone early if... You know, she doesn't make any connections with people. I agree. Now, now, what are your thoughts on how she wants to say she's going to be like 30? She's 42. Oh, uh, she does look young. I, even I said to Ida, like, who's the old person? I didn't even know who the old person was. And, you know, it's funny because a lot of them are in their – a lot of them this season are 30, 31, 32, 29, around that age group, uh, which is going to be interesting because there's a different mindset than, you know, when I was 24 or 25 – uh, you know, and people probably watch this video are probably thinking, oh, come on, what are you talking about? Trust me, when I was 24, 25 to when I was 30 is a, a big, big difference in my mindset, just how I see things, my experiences in life, everything. I was a wild kid. I don't, I mean, I said, you know, going in, don't cook and don't clean for them. They're not looking for a mother. She was going to lie about being a mother, but it's like, who cares? That's okay. Ika's young and she had kids. You had kids. Like, who cares if you have kids? Like, that's not a strategy. And that, yeah. Sorry. And saying she had a boyfriend, that's fine. But it's like, that didn't seem like a plan of, you still have to make the connections and have relationships with people or... You know, there have to be your front people in front of you that are stronger than you, that they're going to be a target. She needs to know her role and play it and and have those people that are in her alliance that are the bigger targets that will keep getting her deeper in the game. And, that, and, and, and that's the thing I'm glad you brought up because uh, I have it here. She's saying she doesn't want to talk about how she has kids. Uh, Why? Exactly. To me, that makes no sense. And, and actually, to me, it's going to work against I didn't get her. That. Because I think about it. That. 
Think about it, okay, Karen? You're in that house for so many weeks. Just that you're going to want to talk about your life and this and that. Yes. It could slip down the road like, oh, you remind me of my kid. Or, yes. oh, my kid did that when he was this age. Or something. Yeah. It can slip. And you're thinking about them. You're missing them. Trust me. You know. I know. Uh, Why? Why go in there and say, no? I mean, no. that was a big part of well, how you talk to people. Because once you don't realize there's 125 cameras on you, you that's the only thing. It's like when me and you were just bullshit and it's like you have to talk about things real life like and then if you're made out to be a liar over something so trivial exactly. as your kids then what else are you lying about like let's just get rid of her she has no value whatsoever like she's gone like why is she lying what's she up to and the paranoia if oh, you're yeah. lying about that the paranoia will be feeding into it it's like no that's a bad thing yeah I, I didn't understand lie. that be your true self. Yeah. Just be your real self is so much easier in Big Brother than just try to be something you're not. Those fake ass people get shown out pretty quickly. Hundred percent, and that's the thing. I I think it's gonna come out like she'll start crying about her kids or something for sure. It's gonna happen. Everybody in that house cries. I don't care what anybody says. Every single one in there has done it. It's gonna happen, especially when you have kids. It's gonna happen. So, so Bruno, tell me, do you think that? Uh, like most of the seasons they don't what you always tell me like you know you just got drug along to the end so it's like why don't they drag <laughs> all the old people to the end that's what i don't get why do people try to target and throw these older people out why why is that when they could be a good ally and a good number like why okay so my thought okay. i can't get a big threat out okay i'm going to tell you how my mindset about it is this okay. is not how i view it okay the okay. first week everyone's trying to get to know everybody uh nobody wants to step on anybody's toes uh you know everyone's trying to buddy up you know how it is everyone wants to get to know each other everyone's kind of pretending they care no, I don't because i wanted to get on everybody okay 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 that in the normal case everyone's kind of in, in an age group and then there's that one or two kind of older that they can't relate you can't talk about the same things you can't talk about the bars you went to the night before or the rave you went to or this is what I, i'm into whatever it is because you're in a different space in life and me too trust me i had to, like when i was there i had to bring myself back 10 years to kind of fit in with this crowd you know what i mean that's just the way it is yeah. so these kids can all relate and get along they have a lot in common they're young they're hot they're they're studs they're this and that they all have this all in common and then there's the older person in the first week, you don't want to cause trouble. So it's just the easiest out. It's an easy, and listen, I'm not saying it's right. It's the easiest out. That's just the way it is. It's the easiest out to get them out. And then you go amongst each other. You're right. You're absolutely right. I don't get Every it. week, get them out. But nobody wants to make that first move because there's so many other people that can make that move and make that enemy. Why should it be you? Why should you be the one to make that big move, get a big player out? If you miss, you're the target next week. And that's just the way it is. So people want to get their grasp in the game. People want to get uh, their foot in the door. They want to get their alliances set up before they make their moves. And it's just the easy out. It sucks. It's the way it is. Trust me, on season three, I was I was one of the oldest players, man. That's just the yeah. way it is. And and I almost went out night one or nominated night one just because of that. Just because yeah. of that. And it sucks. But hey, that's life. That's the way it is. I don't have the right answer, but what I do know is once the, the older person gets past a few weeks, now they become an asset because all the big dogs are starting to go head to head, the good exactly. players, and they become a number, and that's just the way it is. You're the easy out at first, and then you're that good number to the end, and then everyone thinks they can win against uh, the older player or whatever. That's just exactly. that's the way it is. Um, yeah. Okay, so she is a psychic. She is a so psychic. So I think she's going to go out early. Think, yeah, I agree. I think she should see it coming since so she's a psychic. She yeah. should see it coming. She should That's going to be the joke of the season. 100%. So, 100%. So, is she going to unpack her bags? Is she just going to keep them packed for week one and then walk out the door? What do you think? Do you think she's going out first? Well, I think, like I said, I, and, I, and I'm 55 years old now. If for ever any reason that there's an old person watching this that's going to go back in, win the first HOH. Because more than likely, like they did with me, they'll say, well, you know, Dimitri knew that there was threats in there when he won week two. It was like, you, and and my whole thing is the old person be like, you're going to throw out the old person? Why? Am I a threat to you? No, 100%. Like, you need to reverse that. She needs to win first HOH so she can sum up and see who she could possibly work with. But probably that won't happen. Like, I hope it happens so she can stay. Yeah, no, I agree. I think I think she could be a good cast. I hope she doesn't just go in and kind of. Sit I on think the couch. she could be a really good cast yeah, and so interesting too. and funny and psychic. But 
I just think I hate the fact they're looking for an easy out week one and it's the old person that has no value. We're not looking for a parent and I wasn't trying to be anybody's parent. I hope she's not because she says she's going to lie for whatever reason. And so so I, I have high hopes that it works out. See, and that's the thing is everybody has equal value in that house. It doesn't matter if you're 19 years old or 65 years old. Everyone has an equal value in that house. It's just how you use that to your advantage. I'm saying it's these people, they see it as the easy out and that's just, that's the way it plays and it sucks because it doesn't matter if, again, if you're 80 years old or you're 20 years old, you bring value. You're a number, you're an ally. Uh, you know, there's not every competition is hold onto this rope for 24 hours. You know, there's a lot of mental ones. They're, they're, yeah. Everyone has their strengths that you can use and they're there for a reason. Everybody has a reason, a strength that, and their reason while they're there. Um, so yeah, she's a psychic. I, that's going to be the running joke for sure. Oh, when, she, when she gets evicted, 100% there's going to be, she did she see it coming? She should have seen it oh, coming. Oh, I know. Hundreds. I'm going to be so annoyed with that. Yeah, but I'll tell you, I loved her personality. I absolutely I loved know. her personality. I thought she was That's great. That's why I want her to stay. Right. Just like when Rosina, we didn't get to see any of Rosina. And it's like, oh, my God, you guys. Let's see. Maybe they'll be a good cast member. Maybe they'll have some value to the cast and, and be an interesting person. It's like, oh, just don't throw them out night one. I hate that. Everybody's got to go, right? Doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, eventually. Hey, that's the way it goes. Okay. So your thoughts on uh, Kaylin. That's the, the Kaylin Archer, the psychic. Yeah, I think they're going to get rid of her. The easy out, they'll get rid of her. Unless she wins first HOH, she's going. I could see an early out. Again, I could see the same thing. Early out or deep in the game. I don't think there's a middle. Okay. Uh, so, and, and I, you know, going in as the old person, I said, if I make it past the third week, I'm going to go all the way. Because you do have your relationships and you know who the targets are by that point. And so, you know, your your total game changes as far as, you know, there's other middle people that then can go. Okay. Chelsea Bird. We're done with the... Okay. She that's, also, that, that's Kevin's friend. That's the radio. The radio host. Okay, go, go, Karen. Let's hear it. What do you got? That's Kevin's friend. I liked her personality a lot. I really liked her personality a lot. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to like this girl. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I think she's very personable. I think she's smart. I think she'll be athletic. I think she's going to be well rounded. I think she's going to do really well in the show. I, I do too. I think she has the right personality. Again, it just depends how she fits in, where she fits, uh, the mix and all that stuff. Yeah. There's things I liked what she said. There's things I didn't like what she said. Okay. Um, what so you like? I didn't like how, well, I didn't like, I shouldn't say I didn't like. I, what I should say is what is going to work against her. She says she doesn't like obnoxious, over the top personalities. They rub her the wrong way. Oh. Big brother. Oh. This is big brother. big brother. <laughs> so you don't like, you're not going to like, 14 or 13 other people in your house it's going to be hard to live in there and do your thing and they're going to throw you off your game that's just the way it is so big but brother that, that's like okay good then you know those are the people that'll be so annoying yeah. that you can go and put in the hoh head if you're not the hoh to get rid of those are like that person needs to go now the thing i do like she is a she's a big fan of the show she's a radio yeah. host now here's the thing i actually did uh, i co-hosted a morning show just last week here in ottawa i did a morning show there kiss fm and i, I got to host the morning show and it's awesome and uh, the guy i worked with he, he's a talker that's what they do and she's a she's a, a radio host too that's what they do their yeah. job is to talk to people uh yeah. keep conversations going keep the keep the audience uh, you know, entertained and, and keeping them wanting to listen to you. So yep. she knows how to talk. That's her job. Her, literally her job is to talk. Yep. So she's bringing her job into her playground, into her sandbox. And, and like, she's, it's, this is the perfect game for her. Uh, so she'll be able to ca carry conversations to talk. I like the way she talked. Uh, again, you said you liked her. I liked her too. Um, she says she's oh, attached. I, do. I like her. She said she's attached. Which uh, that means that she has a significant person, right? Well, isn't it? Didn't she say she just started dating? But she person? said, it, yeah. So she said it was a new relationship. Yeah. yeah. So she's kind of non-committal because she doesn't know. She probably told the person going into the house, like, "Hey, I'm gonna maybe do whatever, or maybe she'll have legitimate feelings for somebody and something else, and might not be the same when I get out. She'll do a Caitlin Fair five enough. year." Yeah, so, I mean, that's not unusual to think. So, yeah, she, she's a Dylan. Going in, Dylan had someone, 
And then he was with them. So, I mean, that's the way it goes. You know that house does things to you. Oh, 100%. The emotion, and that's, unless you play, you'll never understand. The emotions are yeah. at a thousand. So, 100%. I mean, you know how easily, like, I even like Caitlin with her five year romance got her head all screwed up with all these other guys. Like, I don't know this woman. I've never talked to her, never DM'd or nothing, but I know how that house is. Yeah, for I sure. I mean, me in a solid relationship wouldn't go there but so no i totally get this girl saying that that doesn't bother me so she says you know i didn't even look at it that way it's, uh, i'm glad you brought that up because i didn't look at it that way the way i saw okay. it was she's in a relationship but yeah you know no. what i'll go in there and if whatever happens happens no. so i was no. like well poor guy you know no. the guy's gonna be watching the show oh just no like, i didn't take it like that but no no it's, i'm glad you brought that up because yeah no i didn't see it that way at all so uh okay. you definitely could. okay so uh i also it seems like she gets the idea I like that she gets the idea. She has the right answers, the, the the right you know mindset. It's just a difference of you know having the idea and putting yeah. it into play. It's a very big difference. Oh, so, totally. So hopefully she gets the idea and can get the ball rolling and put it into play. I, I think she's gonna do really, really, really well. Um, I, do I think she's gonna do really well. I think she's in. I do too. She's definitely one to. She'll go definitely play. be in the final four. I think so. I think she's going to go far. I yeah, can see that. I do, too. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else about Chelsea Bird? No. Okay. No, I like her. Okay. Laura Roberts. Let's talk about Laura Roberts. Okay. This one I find, this girl is very interesting. Like, I love her unique look. I love that she seems to be a real individual. This is the one with uh, the shaved head, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She reminds me of uh, Bridget from Rocky. Oh, yeah. And... Yeah, but I did get a vibe of her, which I know a lot of fans won't like because they don't like Elena Davies, but I kind of felt like she was like that casting person was Elena. Did you feel like that? Uh, it's funny you say that because I have that here too. I got that too. Yeah. I don't know what it is. There was something about either. it. I don't either. I don't know what it was about her that made me feel like that. And, and yet Elena, I've never talked to Elena. She never DM'd me. Stuff like that, so I don't know, but you know, I know how contentious that season was with yeah. a lot of these. I feel a lot of BB19 with Mark and Elena with this cast, somewhat. Yeah, the I, I could definitely see the Elena thing, I definitely can. Well, uh, how about how about the guy that Mark the, the big is, guy, Anthony? Is, yes, yeah, yeah. I felt a little bit stereotypical casting there, but definitely unique personalities. I like this girl. You know the Canada vote? I went and voted for like four different people to try to give them the advantage. Nice. So she was one of mine that I went and tried to give her the advantage. Okay, name your four. Let's hear it. Who'd you vote for? Okay, I voted for Laura. Yep. Kira. Yep. Um... Laura, Kira, the old mom that I thought needed help. Yeah, that's who I voted for. Okay, because I wanted to help her. So I gave her the majority of mine, but I did do quite a few different votes. Yeah. And I don't know. Oh, I think I gave Eddie some. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Which Eddie's one? the Asian. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah we have gay kid word. that I felt he's very smart. But I thought they might target him. So I, I wanted to perceive people that I thought would need a little hand from me. So those were the four that I voted for. And that's uh, that's why I did go with Kaylin too. I gave her some votes. I just, you know, it, it just sucks to see that just because of your age, I nothing know. you've done, that you're going to go out the door. So uh, I that's, tried to help her a little bit. Okay, me too. Okay, so Laura, um, I, you know what? I'm in the same boat. I think she's very interesting. I love yeah. the personality. I, I actually found, but it was weird because I found her bio on the Big Brother Canada site better. Totally different. Totally different. Yeah, because totally she different. was it, way different. I loved it. And then I actually saw that one first. And then I saw her interview with Aika. And it was it was just a totally different person. Like it's what not you the, said to me. And I told you, go watch Aika's because yeah. you definitely, even online when I'm watching on Twitter, people, the fans get a different perception from those bios than the different ones. It's like... And that's why we know we're not going to know who who 100%. we're really getting till we see the feeds. Yeah, absolutely, and that's the thing. It's it's whoever they are at that moment. If they feel yes. like this that moment, they're going to put that act on. If they feel like yes. this at the moment, they're going to be that. Per and that's the way it is. So, uh, very different person. Very very different person. It'll be interesting to see which which one we get. Maybe we get both. Maybe we get whatever. Um, her strategy is to stay sharp and be adaptable, which is uh, the right answer. I mean, everybody says that. Can they put it in play? Who knows. Um, 
Because that was my strategy too, going in, just be adaptable kind of thing. Okay, she wants no show well, that, But that was mine as well. I said I can yeah. be adaptable, flexible. Like, you know, you got to get in there to know where are you going to fit in if you're going to fit in at all. And that's a th and I think that's everyone's kind of mentality is you got to be adaptable. I mean, it, it, it makes sense. But you're right. You have to fit in somewhere for sure. Okay. No showman's says she's a happy person all the time. I think and that's going to... I gonna love the fact that she said no showman. Yes. Yes. I like that too. I like that. I'm not a... She's the one that'll get into a showman. <laughs> Those people that go in and say no showman says Ike and Dimitri, no showman, Cody, <laughs> Jess, showman. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you guys. Okay. So, and okay. She says uh, she's a happy person all the time. To me, I think that's going to change. You know how it's like oh. in there. The oh, highs are God. the highs are highs. The lows are low, and they're oh. low. Like, so, well, let me tell you something. You get to your breaking point. Yes, yeah. it's, <laughs> like it's you, a lot. Like you on slop for six and a half minutes. I thought you were like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I had never starved in my life for that long. It was like four minutes, Karen. Matter of fact, okay. this podcast is taking a long time, and I'm getting hungry. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We'll we'll get through it. We'll get through. Okay. So uh, she says she's a soft heart. Uh, says she won't. No, be I love her. I love her. I love her. I want her to be go deep, deep, deep. I like her too. I definitely like her. She's someone I, I definitely want to see do well. Okay, she said she would rather win and get no respect than to lose and be a legend. That answer right there, she boom. Was. That's the one. That's that's what I, I like to hear. She's authentic, and she. I really think I'm gonna like this person. I'm like, please, Laura, don't disappoint me. <laughs> see, I like that answer. You're there for a job. Do the job. Who cares what people think? You're there to win. Go win. If you're not there to win, why the hell are you there? Like, don't don't even show up. Just you know. Well, and, or real people. Some people have to be realistic. You think no matter what you do, you're never going to win. I'm never going to win. So it's like, you know what? I you put too much on that one question. Like whatever. Okay. It's just to me. It's the mindset. It's the mindset. If you're like, oh, I I want Instagram followers. I don't care if I win. Oh, I just want this yeah, I never, it, I never like those to me, people. To me, to me, that's the recruits. same answer. To me, those are the recruits. Okay, I don't see it the same way. Okay, but whatever. Okay, Steph, we'll agree to disagree. Agree to disagree that you're wrong. Okay, uh, Steph Hoyos. Let's talk about Steph Hoyos. Uh, she's been watching but since. I don't know why. I feel like this girl is like Haley. In BB20 okay. that I thought I wasn't going to like, but I ended up loving. Okay, cool. Because Haley's personality, I ended up really liking. She's a really cool girl. I'm just hoping that this girl is there for the right reasons and not there to get clout. Yeah. yeah. And I, a lot of times, have prejudgment on these kind of people. And I hope she is not that person. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think I think she's there for the right reason. I don't think she's there for the okay. wrong reason. Uh, she's been watching since season two. Uh, okay, here's the thing. And actually, we we just talked about this. She says she gets super grumpy when she's hungry or cold. Yeah. And right away, when she said that, I thought of you. Literally well, eight minutes later, you haven't. The, it, man, it wasn't. You probably just ate, and they're like, "You're on slop." Eight minutes. And you're like, "Oh, I can't. I can't do." This. Welcome to the have not room. Okay, so. Uh, if she's on slop, it's going to be interesting, interesting to see how she reacts to it because she gets super grumpy. Hopefully, she doesn't tell people that. And here's a, a thing that people don't realize. Well, I can tell people that, it's, no. but you can't hide who you are. But that's the thing, right? It's like where, um, you know, if you say, like, for instance, if I don't have coffee, I get really bad headaches. I didn't want to tell people that because they might throw out the coffee. They're like, oh, let's give them a headache. Let's throw out the coffee. So if she tells everyone, oh, if I don't eat, if I'm on slop, I'm going to be a disaster. People yeah. are going to be like, let's put her on slop. So hopefully she keeps that to herself. Uh, oh, Kevin Martin is her favorite player. Uh, he's, a, he's a great player. If you noticed on this cast, a lot of them, Kevin Martin was their favorite player. He, he, listen, you got it. Kevin is a great player. A lot of them said that. 100%. And you know what? It's a good answer. He's, he's a great, great player. All-around player. Amazing. But Kayla from last year who tried to mimic Kevin's game, who laid low, came out, and then the bitter jury didn't give her the money. Okay, it's every season is different. I'll Happens. tell you I'll tell you something, Karen. Every season if you were to play on say season three or season four or season six, whatever I would have been rich on season three. Hey, you know what? If every person makes a difference in that season. So Kayla played her game. If there was a different jury, maybe she wins. It's it, it everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. You know it. Okay. You know it. So uh, she wants to be the mastermind and will always try her best in comps. 
Okay, wanting to be the mastermind, that's so kind of... did this give you Paris, like she's trying to be the mastermind? That that isn't what... That was Paris's MO. She was trying to play the dumb girl and then mastermind behind the scenes and play to the feeds and play to the cameras. I don't want that. I want real people. I don't want telling us one thing on the feeds and then going and, you know, beating up Maddie in the in the pink room or whatever the color it was. It was our old room. Um, what do you mean? What is I, don't, I don't know how this girl's going to be. I don't know. I, I just, I didn't know from this how she's going to be. I don't know where I stand with her. I don't know until I see her on the feeds because I felt a lot of contradiction. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, because I, I, I'm going to say, I like, I like some of the things she says. But it's hard. To, I agree. She's a hard one to read. I don't know where she'll fit in. Read. Yeah. And I'm good at reading people. And unless you're there on the house or on the feeds, then I'll be yeah. reading them big time. Okay. She says uh, she does. She's not looking for love, but she's looking for a guy to use to her advantage. Exactly. That was Kayla. That was to me. She's a, this girl is a mix of Paris and Kayla to me. I mean, hey, they were final too, so that might be a good if she can figure it out. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying this is what the vibe yeah. I was picking up when I was seeing all this cast stuff, and I thought, yeah, exactly. If it works, it works. Okay, uh, wants to have the numbers and be in the majority alliance in the first few weeks to keep safe. Who doesn't? That's everybody wants to do that. Her strategy oh. is to be herself, and yes. she'd rather win and not be respected. Again, I love that answer. I that's good. Okay. So that's and Steph. We're kind of whatever about her. We're not sure. We're not sure. We're not sure. We're not sure. But I think, you know, she's going to get in a showman's. Okay. I, 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 can, see, I can see that. 100% oh, I can see that. She's, she, her, her, she is her uh, Kayla and Wilson all over again. I, I could see that. I could see her yeah. uh, in a yeah, showman. This is a Wilson. Okay. She's her Wilson. Uh, jury or no jury? Oh, definitely jury. Jury. I agree. She's going uh -huh. to be jury. Okay. Eddie Lynn. Talk to me about Eddie Lynn. Eddie Lynn, they, this stereotypical nerd needs to get the hell out quick or he's going so deep in the game, it's unbelievable. If they don't target him right away because he might not fit in with the rest of the cast as well. Um, that's why I gave him the boost on the votes because I know that he's going to need to be there for a certain length of time to get the connections and build the relationships. But if he goes, he's going deep as well because he's a brainiac. I mean, the guy, he's a McGill kid. I mean, this kid is smart. He's a Kevin Martin smart. He'll be studying the crap out of things. And these kids are always dangerous. I see. Okay, the way I look at it, I think he could be one of the first to go. I think it's either be him. That's what I said because of the relationships and the connections. Because he might yeah. be a misfit and not fit in. For sure. Don't you remember at first? Um, William. Totally. Yeah, hundred percent. He's, he's William. William almost went home the first four days. Remember, he was going to self evict. Yep, yeah, hundred percent. And that's and I can see that. Didn't, and, didn't feel comfortable. That's what I felt about this kid when I was seeing it. And and there's so many big personalities that yes. you know it, it. Sometimes he can be yeah for sure absolutely and I see oh, that too. No. I also I, I see him where he could almost be like a pawn every single week. I, I can see him as the pawn. And I felt like that as well. Yeah. And I don't don't say that you'll go up on the block as the pawn kid. Yeah, I could see I could see him being uh -huh. a, a permanent uh, spot every week in that. But then if that happens and he keeps making it so smart, he'll go really deep. But he he's it's going to be very volatile with him depending on how he fits in with his relationships. Absolutely, and that's the key. And that was uh, I I did make a note about that. Uh, Something about how he's saying, oh yeah, uh, how the girls always pull in the gay guy. So he is gay, and the girls usually pull in the gay guy. Uh, but so what he wants to do is be pulled in by the girls. So um, is that going to be his mother hen? Dre is going to be mother hen, and there's going to be somebody in their mother hen and then grabbing on to him. Because he says in every season, the gay guy gets pulled in by the girls. The girls always, you know, want to talk to them and well, this and that. And then. I don't really agree with hey, that this is this is his words this is what he's okay. saying so his strategy okay. is to get pulled in by the girls but actually work with the guys i know and i thought oh come on how's that gonna work hey you know what it's something new maybe he thinks maybe he's figured it out in his head who knows 
<coughs> excuse me, but that's his strategy to go in. Hey, it could work because the girls will think that, that he's with them, but I really he's going for the guys. But here's the problem. Will the guys want to pull him in in the first place? I don't think he's going to be one of those bro guys. And that's the thing, right? So and they're, they're not going to take him in. He needs to find his ride or die immediately that is in one of those other alliances that will help him along. And, and here's the thing. He keeps talking about how smart he is. Now, hopefully he doesn't... Yes. Hopefully, uh, that's great. I mean, I'm sure he's a genius. But yes. he, if he's in that house telling everyone how smart he is all the time, hey, man, oh. you know what I mean? Hopefully, because he, he mentioned it like three or four times. Like that's well, all he kept I hope he doesn't tell people that. It also, that's all he kept talking. Oh, I'm, I'm super smart. I'm a genius. I'm this and that. Hey, well, people automatically the stereotypical smart Asian. Like, yeah. <laughs> They'll yeah. already be thinking this kid is going to be a wizard at numbers, mental clarity, memorization. Like, you know how paranoid that house is. 100%. So hopefully he can keep it to himself. I'm very interested to see how he does. I think he can be, like again, right away he's gone or he's going to be a pawn every week. I, I want to see where he fits in. Uh, it'll be it'll be pretty interesting. So, okay. What was that? So is that it? Is that it on him? Yeah, I'm good with him. Damien Ketlow. This is our last one, isn't it? Uh, I think we have two more. Two. Damien Ketlow. He is a hey. First Nations. He wants to be a good role model for First yeah. Nations. He's played oh, hockey. God. The biggest douchey vibes off of this guy. I'm you sorry. Did. Okay, see, I, I almost got the other way. I found that he was... More normal, like he was. He seemed to me like one of the most. And that's the thing is, people think it's I don't boring. Think he watched the show, did he? No, he's never. That was the thing. I think. Uh, he's fruit. I think it was his girlfriend or something. Yeah, oh, that's what he said. That's what he said. Yeah, that's right. His, he girlfriend. his girlfriend. And he knew nothing, and he only watched season six. And yeah. I'm like, well, that's not well rounded now, enough. Now here's the thing, okay? Uh, a lot of now. people think if you're a super fan, you have a way better shot of winning. Sometimes. Uh, Sometimes you need to be green to the show and just not go. Yeah, like you just don't know what's going on, and you kind of a lot of times. Hundred percent. So maybe by him not knowing what's going on, maybe it'll work to his advantage. I, I listen. Then he's Wilson. Then he gets drugged to the end with somebody because okay. he doesn't know the game, and then his ride or die is going to cut him. Is that what you're thinking? Okay. No. What What I'm thinking here. Okay. I think a lot. Of, like, listen. I saw the the bio, and he was pretty like very boring for sure, but. I think it's because he's normal, and that's the thing is people don't like normal on these shows. They want to see the, the really out there. I think he has a good mindset. I think he's normal, and I think you need that. If you're normal in that house and you're not this giant personality, you can kind of maneuver your way. He seems athletic. He plays hockey. Yeah, he, I know. I know he's athletic. So he's got a girl on me though. I just I got a vibe that he was arrogant. I don't like arrogant. See, I didn't well, get that's that. what. That's why I didn't like you. I don't like <laughs> the arrogant. I don't like thinking they're so great and so better than everybody else. That really rubs. Wait, me wait, 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 wait. What are you saying, Karen? <laughs> wait, what are you, what are you saying? I don't like that. Uh, okay, he listen. Very arrogant, and I if he's Who's condescending. There? This kid, this Damien. See, I didn't see that. I, I just saw him as a normal guy just talking. Yeah, because you're one of him. Because you're a man, guy. A, you're twins. Oh, come on, man. I'm not arrogant. What are you talking about? Where are you? You're twins. I don't see it because you're just like him. Guys, know? am I right? Tell no. me I'm right. Leave comments below and tell me, is this guy Bruno and Bruno doesn't see it because he's him? Man, I, how am I arrogant, man? No, no, don't listen. To, listen, guys, don't listen to me. Guys, listen to me. Okay, okay. Well, I thought I thought this guy was normal. I, he just seems like a normal, quiet guy, minds his own business, does his own thing, like not out there to cause a scene, just wants to like do his thing. <laughs> Adam. Okay. I love it. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, another thing I, I, I said was, he says, hopefully he can keep his cool. Okay, if you read between the lines, to me that says he has a temper on him. <laughs> kind of like you on the slop boat, kicking the man, thing. Man, man, Did shady on that one. Okay. So, that's what I got, the, the, the vibe that, you know, um, he, he has a temper and he hopefully can keep his cool. So, we'll see how that plays. Okay. That was backwards week in the slot vote for you. Oh, man. That was, <laughs> that was fun. Okay. So, that's what he's saying to me. Okay. Is that he's me 
lead too. You try to keep a lid, you try to keep a lid on it, and then you just lose <laughs> lose control at some point. Okay. Uh, is that all about this guy? That's all about this guy. Okay, that's all about this guy. We're done with Damien? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I think he's going to do well. I honestly do think he's going to do well. I don't think he has a big enough personality to be a target right away. I think he's going to do well. And he's going to go far. I think he's going to bro up with the boys. There's a couple other okay. hot... There's a couple, hockey, a couple of hockey players in there. I think they're going to kind of bond over that, maybe. And uh, I think they're going to. I think he's going to do pretty well. Okay, Samantha Pico. I believe she's the last one. Okay. Okay. I thought we were almost done. So she has a really high energy. Oh. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So she says she's high energy when she comes in the room. It takes over. Okay, that could be good and bad. Uh, brings a lot of attention. Is that like I'm going to bring my fiery side that Jackie said that it's like, okay, where was it? Is this girl going to bring her fiery side? Are we going to see it? Is she going to play one thing to the cameras and be something else? I don't know. Tell me more about her. I don't even remember her interview with Ica that well, much. Well, that's the funny thing is I don't have a mu I don't have much <laughs> because she spent half her interview talking about Kevin and Ica. So here we are trying to get to know her, and she's talking about Kevin's game. She's talking about Ica's game. So it, why? This okay, is your so moment. She's a deflector. So she's a good deflector so, where she turns it back on other people to talk about themselves because – you know how self-absorbed that house is. Oh, for sure. Everyone wants to be heard. Everyone wants to speak, for sure. So that's what I'm thinking. She Maybe she's going to be that person. Okay, so she says that people gravitate towards her. She's single, yeah, yeah. but she doesn't want to showmance. Uh, she yeah, owns... She's getting into showmance. She owns like a beauty salon or something, I believe. And her strategy is to be adaptable and adjust. So just like is this else. girl Liza? Yeah. There you go. Similar. She flies that. Well, just with the beauty salon and stuff like that. Yeah. So she's going to try to get in her multiple showmances with different guys. <laughs> she's going to play these guys. The the uh, Alec and uh, or what what was his name? What's that kid? Peter Brown and and uh, Tom. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be your MO. Well, who knows? She says she doesn't want a showman. But you know how that works. People say no showman oh, and right away. So, but you can still have a partner and not like, you know, have consensual whatever on feeds. Okay, so that is the 14 house guests. We've gone through yes, them all. Yes, I want to know final thoughts, Karen. What do you think? What do you, what, who, who do you like? Who do you not like? I'm excited for the season. I'm totally excited. I'm always excited. I can't wait to watch these people on the feeds to live their dreams. Super excited. Pretty much we've rambled on and on. I've told you what I thought about who I like and who I don't. you got to watch the video if you want to see and uh, our deep thoughts. Okay, right now, winner. Who's the winner? Ugh. Who do I want to win or who do I think will win? Okay, we'll do both. Who do you want to win? Who do you think will win? Okay, who do I want to win? Dane. That's a good pick. I want to see Dane win too. I'd like to see that. I want Dane to win. Mm -hmm. Who do you think is going to win? Oh, it'll be somebody I definitely don't want. It's going to be like I always say, third and fourth will end up first and second. It won't be who I want. No, you go first. I okay. told you who my pick is. I would like to see Dane win. Uh, I could see Chelsea winning. Yeah, me too. I could see maybe Chelsea winning. Someone like that. But I'd like to see Dane win. Okay, first out. Who do you think's first out? Who do you want first out? Oh, I definitely think they're going to try to throw out the old mom. But guys, vote and give her the vote so she doesn't go. But a lot of people don't care about the old person, so they don't care. They'll just throw her out anyway. I'd like I'd like to see her play. I want to see her play. I do too. Yeah. I want to see how the old people can do. Yeah, I want to see her play. So uh, Because the old people that go far do have relationships or connections with people in the house. Yeah, see, and it's true. I, I feel the older person has a disadvantage going into the first week, but then I feel like they have a huge advantage if they can kind of get past that point. But yeah, you're right. I think I think we need to help her out. I we need to help I'm her out. I'm hoping that Mark goes home first. Yeah, you want to? Say, oh yeah, I don't see him going home first. I don't see it. I, I see either uh, Eddie. Um, put another guy. Eddie or uh, Caitlin. 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 Yeah. So, the older woman. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie, I can see them throwing out Eddie. Yeah, I just again, it's just a, it's like a safety net kind of thing, and I can see it. I can just see. Cause... I can see it. It's a Ramsey. 
So there's it. Is there, very early. Is there anything you want to add, uh, Karen? Anything you want to say? Hi, oh, guys. Other looking, forward, looking forward to seeing you online. We're going to do lots of podcasting this season, me and Brew Brew. Yep. And we're, it's, now it's going to be good. And we'll it's, have conflicting things. 100%. Now, I don't like him very much, but I liked him in season three. She loves me. So this is the thing. Uh, yeah. We have different views of the game, and it's great. And that, that's that's the good thing about it. I think we see the game differently. Uh, you're obviously wrong, and I'm obviously right. Yeah, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, so it, you know what? Uh, we have fun together. We joke around. We have some fun. Gollum here is my favorite. Uh, we had some good times in the house. Um, you know, anyway, uh, final thoughts. Good times in the house. I think, uh, listen, I think it, it's, it has the potential to be a good season. I think there's a good cast, a good mix. I think a lot of 30 year olds and stuff, which a lot of people have been asking for for years and years and years, uh, yes. they're finally getting it. So, anyway, guys, I think that's it. Uh, great talk. Hi, guys. Karen, uh, miss you. I know you miss me. Tell Bruce to say hi. And, I miss you. okay. We'll see you guys. Thanks for checking it out. Leave a comment below who you want to win, who you think is going to win, uh, who you voted for for the power, who you think is going to go week one, whatever it is. Leave a comment. Let's do this. All right, everybody. And click the subscribe, and this play will be on my channel as well. So click to subscribe. But I also have real estate stuff because I have a job. Bye, guys. Peace. See you later.